Hey everybody, this is uh, Brian B here with Double B Marketing. And what we're going to be going over today is how to convert your profile from uh, LinkedIn to a resume. And the reason you might want to do this is just because there's a ton of different uh, information that you upload to your LinkedIn profile and you want to know exactly how to, um, you know, how, how to convert that and download that so you can use it as a resume to apply for whatever you want to apply for. So a uh, couple things you, you're going to use, uh, you're obviously you're going to use LinkedIn and you obviously want to use this, um, use this, uh, this website, which is called Resumonk. But most importantly, once you, you come here, right, and there'll be a link in here to exactly get to it. You want to come down and you want to hit a uh, link to resume, right? And this you'll get this page at the time this is what it looks like um and it's gonna it gives you step-by-step -step details on how to do it and then you're gonna come here and um down here you'll upload this zip file that i'll show you how to get in a second and then you basically will convert it uh they'll convert it for you to a uh, um to basically look like a resume so something it'll look like something like this so it takes this and looks like this so let's get started here right once you're here at LinkedIn right this is basically the LinkedIn once you log in you'll it looks like this at the time uh, of this recording of video but somewhere on here you want to click this drop down menu and you want to go to your settings and uh, preferences right privacy settings and then uh, you're going to come over here and you're going to click how LinkedIn uses your data. Once you get there, you're going to click on what we said, get a copy of your data. Then it has this circle where it says download a larger data archive, including connections, contacts. Um, now, and then you'll basically, you'll hit request, right? Once, once you request the archive, then um, you're going to wait. Right. And they're going to generate all the information for you here um, and they're going to give you a zip file. Then once you do that, they have the directions here on the site as well. Um, they'll ask you for your password. Um, you'll enter that. And then within a few minutes, you should get an email from LinkedIn on your registered email address. The subject line will be the first installment of your LinkedIn data archive is ready. Right. Just another side note. In our experience, this email typically comes within 10 minutes or so. So maybe time enough to make your favorite cuppa or check out uh, the, your favorite news site, right? That's their language um, that they're using. Just in case you don't see this email in your inbox after 10 minutes, please proceed to the next step at times. The download is ready, but the LinkedIn failed to send the email, right? So basically, if you refresh the LinkedIn page again, and you'll see the download archive button, there click on it and save the zip file to your computer so basically it's saying if you come here and you if you if i were to click that and you just refresh this page like that however your browser refreshes um then you'll be here and you can basically uh download the archive uh and then once you get that what you want to do is you'll come to this page here once again, the link will be uh, on this page, wherever you're seeing this video or in the description, right? Click that link, um, follow the instructions that I said, and upload the thing here. Now, if you don't, if in that zip file there's extra stuff that you don't want because it'll have your connections, um, you know, er everything, everything that's on your LinkedIn, like all together, right? If you don't want that, you can simply take that stuff out, right? If you take it out, and then just upload the profile for uh, portion here and they'll make the resume with that. So that's basically how you um, how you create, you know, uh, the resume here on uh, on LinkedIn. Right. It saves you a lot of time rather you not have to do it. They're professionals. Uh, some of the things that just to let you know, right, this this is a free service. Um, one of the things that they do is uh, this is a free version. But they also do have a paid version, and you can see the differences uh, in there. And so if you want to take advantage of the paid version, all you got to do is come up there and hit pricing um, or come down to the bottom and hit pricing, and it'll take you to this page, and you can see the differences, right? There are some, some benefits to doing it. If you have a lot of, um, you know, resumes or see, uh, they also have, like, cover 
letter CV templates, kind of like this, they'll create all that stuff for you. Um, so if you want to use it as a service or you just want to, you know, get your LinkedIn profile taken care of, you can do that. Right. Um, one other thing that I will recommend is if you are um, if you are big on basically like you want to build out your LinkedIn LinkedIn profile and you want to use it for, um, you know, generating leads or getting business deals. Um, there's some things, some steps that you have to do to be able to do that. And it, it just can be time consuming. So one of the tools that we recommend is, is uh, at this time, um, it's called Linked Assist. Uh, and that'll be in the, the, uh, the description somewhere on this page as well. Um, and what this does is basically those tedious processes where you have to type, you have to go up here in the LinkedIn, you have to basically type who you want to find right and then let's just say we typed uh right whoever this is you hit search right and then you have to hit connect right then you have to send them a message right if you were to hit connect you'd have to add them a note and then send them a message and then you find someone else you would have to um uh, let's see if i have anyone else uh they might not let me do it let's see if i know right because that's the third Right? You hit connect, add them a message, and you would have to keep doing that. What the tool allows you to do is you can type the message out. It's basically the same just to get the touch. and You can connect to people um, very more easily, and you don't have to do that. The only thing you have to do is once they're ready to talk to you, uh, you can basically uh, converse with them. So uh, I want to thank everyone for their time. Once again, um, I'm going to say click the links below. Uh, to take advantage of the things that were talked out about in this video and it'll show you how to convert your profile from LinkedIn to a resume. So thanks for your time and enjoy your day.